Yo guys, MTP Gaming here and welcome back to a brand new video and welcome to Season 8. Now, I've already played a little bit of this, of the new season, but I wanted, for those who haven't seen any of this yet, we're going to be going, we're going to be going through the new Battle Pass, we're going to go out and see what the new season has brought to us in the new map. I hear that there is a giant volcano and a giant pirate ship, so we can go check that out. So anyway, let's go start right to the front. We, you, when you get the free battle pass, you should have got that when you've got the overtime challenges. You will receive these first two legendary skins. You have Blackheart, which is an upgradable, has unlockable styles. Is the third one. There's a lot of versions of this. It's 11 styles. So I'm guessing he comes in like a bunch of different colours. And you have 9 and then 10 just like normal. Oh that looks sick. Then you have hybrid which is like a kind of like ninja guy. Slash like lizard I think. That looks kind of sick. Can't wait to try and get these styles as well. And then he'll come in a blue or a black. And then like a pink colour, which looks kind of cool. Then you'll get, uh, let's see, I have a look at this spray. GG Snakes, uh, Scallywag's loading screen, 100 V-Bucks. Uh, new Rapid Tropical Camo, which looks kind of cool. Also, yes, we do have cannons. I'll try and show them off to you guys as well. The Brood Spray Mark. Flying Standard Cone Trail, which is lit, which is kind of cool. And then you will get this backling, the uh, Cobra backling, which is kind of cool. I think the eyes like glow on it slightly. And tier 8 you get the, I think this is like jellyfish kind of emote. Isle of Treasure searches on loading screen, it's kind of cool. And you've got Wood Sea, which I believe was the, if you remember from the cinematic for season 7 he was at the start which is kind of cool so that's the one new pet we've got the clovers contrail which looks kind of cool uh, sergeant green clover loading screen master portal backling which is kind of cool so unlock the mystery reactive changes styles based on the number of chests opened in a match which looks quite of cool then we've got the sidewinder skin kind of cool looks like indiana jones kind of looking skin looks kind of cool some more a, a bouncy ball toy dance mat and we've got driftwood wrap which looks kind of cool and um, like some kind of like aztec building there the ice queen loading screen and then we've got let's have a look Cinder glider, just a normal glider. It's kind of cool. We've got the conga emote. As you can see, that is traversable. So you, that's the this is the first skin you'll be able to use whilst moving. So we've got a spicy emoticon next to 200 V bucks. A woodsy pirate version, which looks kind of cool. Skeleton key. Phantasm, I think. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Contrail there. Coconuts. Snake bite. Pickaxe. Which is kind of cool. Then we've got the lockstep glider. Which is we got a lot of reactive gliders and stuff in this new season. Tracera Ops loading screen. That has been around for quite some time. Let's see where we are. And we've got the sunprint. Wrap, which looks really cool. Bonesy spray. Scully. Then we've got the Snooze Fest emote. Yeah, I'm tired of all these noobs. Then we've got the best skin ever to release, Peely. Which I think is reactive. Let's use that. Reactive ripens changing colour over time in a match. That's kind of cool. Let's have a look. Another loading screen for hybrid. Looks kind of cool. That's another animated loading screen. 
That looks kind of cool. Can't wait to unlock for the, unlock that. The Dodger, which is like a fox pet. A uh, lock pit. Actually, we've got some new music here. Coral chorus. Sounds kind of cool. Lock pick. Pickaxe. See what else we've got. We've got some like beetle. Lava contrail. Looks kind of cool. Dragon scales wrap. Very nice. Like a dolphin, like a whale. I think. The end is nigh. Could this be a. Could this be a nod for season 9? We'll have to find out, but we're a bit early for that. Now, th this emo, I have a bunch of fun. If you remember that song, oh, I think it was pretty an annoying song, like, I think it was like Peanut Butter, Jelly Time or whatever. Yeah, you'll recognize that emo, you'll recognize that dance from somewhere. We got Dodger in black, Bright Bomber Spray, 200 meters in emo. Then we got Ember, which looks really cool. That flaming hand, so that looks really cool. Let's have a look. Like zebra stripes there. Power cord loading screen. God, it keeps it keeps returning back there. Ember spray looks kind of cool. Tiger stripes wrap. Cuddly emoticon. And then we've got the booty boy. Just like a little pirate ship with an octopus in it. That's kind of cool. It's basically mostly like pirate themed, I believe. And like treasure hunting, like kind of salty spray. Woodsy gold. Master key loading screen. It keeps returning back to there, which is really annoying. Right, where are we up to? Ballistic contrail, which is like a bunch of bullets. That looks cool. That's like the llama from the getaway mode. And then we've got the master key outfit. Kind of looks like ninja, kind of. I don't know if this is supposed to look like him. Then we've got Angry Volcano Emocon, Lux Spray, Star Power, Music. Dodger Camo, he's got that little helmet on. Arachnids, and T95 Emo is Hoopmaster. Let's have a look. Gemstone wrap. It looks kind of like dark, mat dark matter from like Call of Duty. It looks kind of cool. Then we've got Master Key with a, a mask on. I think I prefer this version. And then we've got the tier 100 skin Lux. Or Lux, however you see it. Part of the 24k set. Similar colours to the Ice King. What do you guys think of the tier 100 skin? Is it good or bad let me know in the comments also they've just changed the whole challenge system so the way it looks so you have like events daily ones your weekly ones you have 10 weeks and then your style challenges see what we get it's a kind of cool pickaxe for the black heart and then mutiny backling then we've got the hybrid with a dragon claw pickaxe. He also comes with a additional styles for the dragon claw. We've got an emo dragon stance. That's kind of cool. That's hybrid stage four. Does it come with a back bling? No. It doesn't. And then I've, that's the other one I've already got. Discover. And then that's the new secret skin. We just have to wait and see what that is. Right, let's, let's just, we've got 50v50 squads, which is the original 50v50. Team Rumble. Let's just go into a playground. And let's go check out the new map. Let's go check out, also we have this in the store. Also, yeah, we've got a n 
fish stick is back in the shop with a new style I'll show that off after the, we just have a look at the new map Playground? Dusty Diver plays it. Oh, hang on. Wait, this is this is what Playground now looks like when you load into it. So let's have a look. We have Pleasant Park, Polar Peak, Dusty Diver, Paradise Palms, and the new area, Sunny Steps. Which travels the island. Let's have a look at this new. Have, have now as you can s this looks so cool let's go into the volcano oh did not want to do that so this glide is kind of cool. I'll show that off again. Got a chest right on the edge of the volcano. So what you have to do, make sure you put a floor here, otherwise you will lose all your loot. Yeah, this is the new, this is the volcano. I believe you can go inside it. Uh, we also got sunny steps over here. The block has now moved over to this end of the the map. So there's no more. So there's n yeah, right there. so there's no more motel over here. So the blocks moved over here. Sunny steps is now here. So no more Wailing Woods. No more new areas. Snobby Shores is still here. Junk Junction and Haunted Hills are still there as well. Don't think anyone anything else has changed. And we've got Lazy Lagoon. We've got a little area up here. Tomato Temple. Apparently it doesn't exist anymore, but there's I think that's where it used to be. So we can go check that out. Also I think they've changed the sound of the AR. Yeah, the AR sounds diff diff so much different. Also, I think the shotgun sounds different as well when you switch to it. Yeah, they, they change the sound of some of the weapons, I believe, as well. Let's just check this new place out. This looks really cool. So we've got a chest up here. A few things will spawn there. Also, I've got to show off that new cannon, which I believe is the new vehicle. They have kept hoverboards as well, so infantry rifle still here. I don't know what else they've vaulted, but I'll leave a link in the description to the patch notes so you guys can go check that out. It's a bunch of spike traps. It's kind of like an Aztec kind of like village. So that's kind of cool. Now I believe there are Oh yeah, these things. You just glide down to one. They're kind of like the things when the, I think Kevin the Cube was walking around. And then you had these things where the runes were. So you can just go really high with these. And there's plenty of them scattered around the map. We still have a few zip lines around here. Which is cool. Also, there's a new. This new emote is in the store as well. Just kind of cool. 
And we've got the hello friend emote. I don't know how many waving emotes they're going to add to this game. We don't need that many. Actually, if I can get on a hoverboard, it'd be easier and quicker to show you guys everything that's new. Oh. Not the best landing. Yeah, we've got a few areas around here. Also, you'll be happy to know that planes have all been vaulted as well, so don't have to worry about people flying around everywhere. Oh, there's just two llamas chilling in these in the water over here. I think these are like hot springs or something. Now let's go over to the main area, which has definitely changed. This is Lazy Lagoon, a giant pirate ship in the middle. And if we can find one, we can show off the new cannon for you guys. They're not the fastest thing, I think this is one? Yeah. Yeah, so they're pretty slow to manoeuvre. Similar things to trolleys, I think they might have replaced the trolleys with these. So you can push someone around in it, if you wanted to. Let's just get on a flat surface, I don't know why I pushed it up here. Ow. You see, you can push it around like a, not like a trolley. Aim normally. You can shoot cannonballs. I think it's like... I think it only, t yeah, it only takes like a f about a few seconds for it to reload. So if you want to go through structures and everything, this is like the best thing to use. Also, you, you can push like, people in it. So you can enter the cannon and fire yourself. Probably going to be using that a lot. See how that gets used. There's going to be some people like trying to hit like trick shots or something with that, which will be kind of cool. So we've got with the lava over here. Actually, one thing I did forget to show you guys was the um, what was it inside the volcano, which I haven't actually been in yet. So there's a bunch of lava over here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is this is like the remains of Tomato Temple. I thought that was like a vehicle then, but I don't know what's happening with like my game. I've like set it so I have like auto run on, but for some reason it's like not working all the time. So I don't know what's up with that. I mean, it's the first day, so there will be a few bugs. But we are welcomed by the. Ancient llama. There's a lot of llamas around here. So nothing's really changed around here apart from everything's basically gone. So this is like my first time really seeing everything. Now, do you, now one thing I want to know is: Do you die from getting jumping into the lava? Let's have a look. Let's test this theory. Will you die? I'm going into the lava. Oh wait, what? Oh, you do lose. You do lose health. You use. You lose like one HP every time you bounce on it. So you do lose health, but each bounce is um, one HP. So try not to step on the lava, guys. This is a pretty good way to get around, to be honest. Right, let's get let's go inside the volcano. I bet you. I bet you're probably going to find like you're going to get some people who are just going to like hide in here like the whole game or something. Oh my god. Oh wait, you can just fly around. So this is similar to like the... Oh wait. You know what this is, guys. This must be the throne for the... Um, the like the prisoner skin. It's 
what I'm guessing at. So I'm guessing this whole place was like a... It's just like castle, I'm guessing. Oh, and here, as you can see, these are the eggs. They're still frozen. You can hear the heartbeats as well. So they've been brought here to heat up so they can hatch. So we're, so next time we come over here, we'll keep, keep an eye on these eggs. See if anything happens. But, yeah, from what I can see, I believe that is everything. So let's just back out this game. So guys, that is basically what I have to show for you for Season 8 so far. Let me know what you think of the season so far. Make sure you make sure you grab hold of that battle pass and get all the way up to tier 100. And I should be back to live streaming soon, so make sure you have post notifications turned on so you never miss an upload and stay so you can stay in touch with more for more Season 8 content. I mean stay up to date, but anyway. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more Fortnite Battle Royale content. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.